Welcome to Sassafras Farm. Our ducks love to float the day away on our backyard pond, but it's a soupy mess and way overdue for a full clean out. It's been 11 months since the last one. Our particular problem is duck waste solids settled to the bottom before making it to the filter, clogging up the gravel and forming a nice poop mud layer on the bottom. Not great. This is the second major clean out of our pond after building a DIY in October 2020. We use mostly aquascape components and a standard 45mm liner and underlayment. River gravel and large stones come from the quarry, but all the medium stones came right here on the top of our little mountain. We spent the summer digging them up and collecting them. Doing this pond clean out isn't really difficult, just time consuming. So let's get our pump hooked up and start washing down our sides and filters. didn't expect this at all. It's early February at the time of filming this and there are tadpoles everywhere. Frogs loved our pond this year so I guess I shouldn't be surprised but I didn't expect to see this many. So now we got to gather them up to safety. The ducks will eat every single one of these especially isolated at the bottom if we don't get them out of here. So let's do that. I get a bucket of sludge I mix in some fresh water, then I'm going to grab the skimmer and try to get them out. But I'm at a loss. I can't get any really. So I remember that I had to scoop this out by hand. So we scoop it out by hand and uh, into a bucket and dump it. I 
And so here I have a bucket of the sludge. I'm going to take it over here and dump it. And the ducks, I'm going to keep them back. And so I dump this down here. And the tadpoles are in here. And it's going to take them a second to move. But when they do, you can see them. So I pick them out by hand. I get most of them. And the ducks get the rest. I save these in our other bucket, which I put uh, an air bubbler in just to make sure they had enough air for overnight. Here we go, ready for tomorrow. The next day. Finally time to start filling up this pond. We're doing this directly from our well, so it's important we don't do it all in one go. We'll run water for an hour, turn it off for two hours. The refresh rate on our well is good, so it's never been a problem for us, but you know, each individual uh, situation might be different. It takes about 4,000 gallons to fill this pond up to the top, so it will take a couple days to finish. But we got more work to do. We have a skimmer and a waterfall to clean out, but first, let's get our tadpoles back into some clear, fresh water.
next day. And here is where I run into my first major issue. The waterfall still had water in it. So with an empty skimmer and no backflow valve hooked to the pump, the mucky water from the waterfall started to flow back into the skimmer while I had crystal clear water filling the pond. So I had to quickly get the pump plugged in and get this water pumped out of here before I got high enough to leak into my clean pump. So I acted quick and got the pump in here. This little pump is finicky. It gets clogged. The hose is bad on it, so it's got kinks and stuff. So it was just a little bit of a high stress mess for about two minutes. But we got it figured out. Got it all pumped and cleaned. And then we were good to go. This is the Aquascape Biofalls 2500 waterfall. Based on the previous state of our pond, this filter is definitely not enough to keep our water clear, given the fact that we have 19 ducks. Other than that though, this filter is amazing. It works pretty well, especially in the summer and the fall when the planting tray is overgrowing with water plants. The plants have a noticeable difference on the muck. It seems that you just eat it right up and uh, it works really well to keep the muck down. So yeah, let's get this stuff out of here. We have our floating pickerel weed. This will be back next year. And then the stone to help hold things down. We grab our planting tray here. And then our bio balls and they're uh, each in their bags there. And then our two pads. And then we gotta spray everything down, pump it out. And there we go, all clean. This is all duck waste build up. This is what the plants love to eat. In the winter, it builds up a little bit. We gotta get it cleaned out. Once everything's clean, we can get it all reassembled. This is the Aquascape Aquaforce 5200 pump. It's capable of, you guessed it, 5200 gallons per hour. But not when it's plugged with sticks and duck feather down, so let's pull it apart here. And then here we got sticks, feathers, wood chips, grass, you name it. I'm surprised it worked at all that plugged up, but now we're all clean, we're all dry, and it's time to reassemble. Now we can put this whole assembly back into our skimmer. This is an Aquascape 400 series skimmer. It runs uh, two inch lines from the pump to the waterfall. We got our support here, our filter pad, and our leaf basket, and our lid, and we're ready to go.
Now that the pond is clean, full, and treated with beneficial bacteria, we're going to let it sit and circulate overnight. It will be ready for the ducks in the morning. Stick around for their reaction. It's a good one. Approximately 10 hours later. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more duck.